Hey everybody and welcome to another JASP video. In this video we're going to explore a new function in JASP 0.17. This is the Apple Silicon version that uh, uh, people of M1s, M2s, whatever from Apple can get native support, which is great. Don't have to use Rosetta for anything because that's just an, a, another layer of, of translation and computation. So yeah, this is great. So one of the new feature changes that I mentioned in my features video from uh, about a week ago was the introduction of the R module, or as they call it in the release notes, syntax mode. So this is a phenomenal addition to JASP. Using JASP for teaching is really how syntax mode really helps, or going back and forth between JASP and its engine to maybe like R console, basic R, or you know a larger suite like, I don't know, uh, R Studio. So if you're going back and forth, and if you're someone like me who has uh, small amounts of R training and R use in my background, having the graphic user, graphical user interface help you in figuring out R code under the hood kind of stuff, then this is really great. So let me go ahead and open up the uh, descriptives and the sleep data. I'm not going to open up the module there. I'm just going to do my own. And what we're going to do is we're going to go into t-tests, and we are going to do an independent samples t-test. And here is how you get the syntax mode. It's this big R at the top next to the name, which you can edit if you want. But obviously, it also says show R syntax in the drop down or tooltip menu. So I click on that and it opens up this window. OK, you can see here it says uh, command enter to apply. I would imagine this would be control enter on Windows. So first and foremost, we have the module uh, loaded in here. So this is not the full module or the code that you could run independently. So you're gonna have to make some changes. But it does give you a, a sense of what you need to do. So we have JASP t-test, t-test independent samples, and it's telling us version 0.17, okay? So I'm assuming that you need at least 0.17 to run the R module or syntax mode. So that saying that there seems a bit redundant to me, but it makes sense if you have different versions of R that, or the R syntax mode, like maybe 0 0.18, 0.18, you know, when it goes, um, when it does its full release, one JASP 1.0 in the future, it makes sense that it would have that there. Second thing is, is that it already has the um, independent samples T test open. It already has this open, right? So formula here is null. It means nothing's in there. But watch what changes when I add stuff. So let's, let's make extra my dependent variable. And so it adds the tilde and then extra. Okay, but it needs the grouping variable. So the grouping variable is going to be group, obviously. And so comma group equals group. And then we can add more things. By default, student test, student T is what is selected. But we can change some of these. So if we get the effect size, we can choose cones D, glasses delta, or hedges G if we want to. We can also get our confidence interval. And when we do this, we do comma effect size true, effect size CI also equals true. But if I, let me if I see what happens down, watch what happens down here to this checkbox when I change this to false. Okay, and then I hit command enter. You can see that it unchecked the box here and it's no longer along the side. Okay. And so if I want to add it to add it again, um, I can either type it in myself or we can go up to show all options and hit this checkbox. And what it'll do is it'll put all possible ways that you can modify through the uh, these option selections what you want to do here. So effect size CI right here, it disappeared when I made it false, but now it's showing and it's just showing it false. So if I change this to true again. Watch what happens to the checkbox. Let me scroll down just a little bit so you can see. Down here, pay attention down there. I'm going to put T-R-U-E. And then I hit Command Enter. And there it is. There it is again. And it's now checked. So the, the, the R module, the syntax mode here, is typing the changes that we'll see here. Now, if I forgot the E, for example, watch what happens. Uh-oh. Error in fun, <laughs> error in fun, uh, error in the function, which is this function. Object T-R-U not found. Try catch or suppress warning. So this is a warning telling me that something in my syntax is not correct. And of course, what we'll have to do is close that and we gotta go find my where I had it and then we're gonna add true again. And then we're gonna run it again. Although it didn't really change anything because um, it couldn't, right? It couldn't. So it'll tell you what doesn't work because it already has it here. Now, these are the ways that are in any kind of console. These are the ways that they are called, right? So mean difference, just written like this, is how it would be in the R console, okay? Or in R Studio or something like that. That's how you would use these things, okay? Now, again, you cannot just copy and paste this whole thing because unless you've got the JASP t-test as a package in R, which I don't know, if somebody let me know down in the comments below if that's a thing. I'm not entirely sure, but you should be able to grab the vast majority of this, maybe not the top there, and just run the um, basic R 
analysis of independent samples t-test, whatever that function is called in R. It's escaping me, but you know, it's part of the ANOVA package, I believe, or, or related to that. It's, it's, it's basically base R. You can also add in the R, your R code here, and it will be, um, this is going from R into JASP. Okay, so it's not from, it says you can paste syntax mode JASP and, and, and JASP analyses here, but in my testing, it wasn't working. Um, in my testing, that was not working. So I'm not entirely sure um, what was causing it to, I, I was probably doing something wrong, but the run code button with the analysis here, from here into here, run code wasn't working. So I'm not entirely sure what's going on with that. But that is the new R syntax mode for your under the hood R code learning in JASP 0 0.17. If you have any questions, comments, suggestions, or feedback, please leave them in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.